Hello and welcome back to another short video from the audio filing car. Today's video is all about an AC Snitzer F82 M4. Cracking looking car, beautiful colour, beautiful wheels. Really, really well presented. It's very clean, it's got lots of carbon. It's, uh, it's a real head turning car. And we've been lucky enough to be entrusted to fit a lovely hi-fi system in this car. We've gone for our BMW System Free Utopia. If you follow our videos, you'll see that we like to name stuff. So the reason why we call this a System Free Utopia is because it has the focal Utopia tweeters. Now that's set in a custom A-pillar build, as you can see. So they're nice and pretty. They're trimmed in Alcantara. They get the tweeters on axis so we get them away from the original corner triangles. This car came from the factory with Harman Kardon, so it would have had a Harman Kardon tweeter, but actually we've ordered the blanks from BMW and installed those rather than have two tweeter grills right next to each other. We always do that. It's a four layer soundproof, sort four layer soundproofing system in this door. So we've soundproofed the outer door skin, the regulator panel, the back of the door card, and then we've got a lovely squishy foam in between. We've made up gaskets, we've made per perspex baffles, which have machine screw inserts, and that's what holds the Focal ES100K. So just in case you're thinking, why have we used the Utopia tweeter and the ES100K four inch mid? There's a very good reason for that. We would love to use the Utopia tweeter, but the problem is it's all about frequency response. We've talked about this loads of times before. You can't get the three and a half inch mid to run down low enough to blend in nicely with the underseat woofer because we're using a 8 inch underseat woofer. We can't really play that above 150 hertz. In fact, in here it's only playing up to 135 hertz. If we bring it any higher than that, it starts to become really directional. You start to get the bottom end of the harmonics of the vocals playing through the woofer and you just don't want that. So that's why in this system, we use a four inch mid in the door to get the frequency response nice and low. So that's actually playing down to 135 hertz. And it's pretty linear down to that point as well. It's not bad at all. A little bit of EQ and we've got a great sounding front end. We are using the brand new Audison M8.14 amplifier in here. So that's an eight channel amplifier uh, into the two ohm Audison woofers. It's producing about 140, 160 watts per channel. So plenty of drive for those under seat woofers. It's about 100 watts to the mids and 100 watts to the tweeters, which of course is an ample amount of power. You've got the new DRC controller, which just sits here. So that's what we use to change our listening position and adjust the subwoofer level. And if we come around the back of the car, this customer has also opted for a very famous and well-known now party sub. So we've done something a little bit special rather than just put the plain party sub in there. This customer's opted to have it all built in. So as you can see, we've made a custom enclosure. Get it over to the left-hand side. It keeps it behind the 60-40 split rear seat so we can still fold the seat down. Um, we've put machine fixings into the bulkhead and then we've got machine screws going in there. It's a very noisy defender in the background. Sorry about that. We've cut the floor pan to uh, make sure everything fits nicely and amplifiers are located down here. So we've got, oh sorry, we've got the digital interface here, which takes that we've coded this car. Sorry, we haven't coded this car to Hi-Fi. This car had Harman Kardon, so we've installed a most interface. It decodes the digital data and transfers it across to the DSP, which is underneath here. Let's just see if we can show you actually. So underneath here, we've got a DSP. Yes, we can. So we've made a stack mount now. Everything's nicely fabricated. That's a, a steel top plate or an aluminium top plate and a hardwood base. Everything's on machine screws. That's all nice and serviceable. I'm glad I've looked in there because I've just realized we forgot to put the amp cover on that. So we've set the gains and we haven't screwed the amp cover on. So we're gonna do that quickly before the customer gets here. Um, we've made some little interconnect leads up between the inputs and the outputs of the two amplifiers. The bottom amplifier has the inbuilt DSP, obviously, and the top amplifier is just a monoblock. Driving at a two ohm load, I think it's about 900 watts from memory. So pretty pokey to drive this JL Rio 13 inch sub, it gets it going really nicely. When this is down, everything's totally hidden. We've soundproofed the floor pan, we've soundproofed the boot lid, we've soundproofed the rear side cheeks. Uh, we haven't soundproofed underneath the rear shelf, but we have put foam between the rear shelf and the partial shelf above it. <coughs> Excuse me, just to stop any rattling or vibration. So there you go, that's a summary of the System Free Utopia, along with the party sub. It's an absolutely cracking system, sounds amazing. It's not just about power, it's a really detailed, really beautiful sounding system, but actually with plenty of power and with that party sub, and now there's a tractor going past. 
<laughs> Sorry about all the noise. Let's roll it up there because there's another tractor coming in the car park. That's the beauty of living on the side of the countryside. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like. Maybe you could subscribe to our channel.